for Jews, she is Edith Stein, yet another victim of the Holocaust. Catholics know her as St. Benedicta of the Cross, a Christian martyr. 70 years after her death, she was brought back to life in a play in Buenos Aires. The seventh dwelling is a monologue. Alone in a Carmelite convent, Sister Benedicta is waiting for the Nazis. She knows they'll come for her. She has only one night to remember all the stages of her life. Born to an Orthodox Jewish family, she became an atheist and a philosopher before converting to Catholicism. Argentine actress Lily Grinberg says she fell in love with Edith in Paris some 30 years ago. A friend asked her to buy as many books as she could find on this Jewish scholar turned Catholic nun. Lily not only bought them, but read them. The first time I, I, I read something about Edith Stein, I was very impressed. Um, it was not a surprise for me. I don't know why. Lily says she relates to Edith in more than one way. Besides their Jewish origins and passion for philosophy, both women are persistent. Now Lily plays Edith's part on the stage. Now it's difficult to me to, um, to separate her life from me because uh, uh, many, many months and, uh, I had very close to her. The play's director says she was surprised by the public's reaction. The Seventh Dwelling was first performed in unconventional places like churches, museums and libraries. Now it's in the theaters. I was very impressed by this woman's determination to seek the truth, how she's honest with herself and her inner feelings. Stella says she's an atheist. For her, Edith's story is less about religion and more about one woman's struggle to be herself. She did this facing the ultimate consequences, without leaving anything behind. When she's about to be killed, she says, I will die for my people. That's what fascinated me, this woman's strength in this moment to impose her views in a difficult and very complex society. Although she was a nun, Edith was executed like a Jew in Auschwitz. She was made saint by the Vatican in 1999. For many in Argentina, it doesn't matter if Edith or Saint Benedicta was Jewish or Catholic. They say she's an example of a woman who fought for her beliefs. This is Monica Yanakia for JN1 in Buenos Aires.